Hello everyone and welcome back to the Breakdown How To. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install FTB Beyond. But before we get on into that, I want to remind you to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome how to Minecraft tech style content every single day of the week. Also, if you want an incredible Minecraft server running FTB Beyond or any of the other mod packs here. You can do that by going to the breakdown.xyz slash MC server and you get an incredible modded Minecraft server running FTB Beyond or like I said any of these other awesome mod packs for just five dollars per month. It's 24 hours. It's DDoS protected. You can give it out to anybody. It is absolutely awesome. That is the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash MC server. But how do you go about installing the uh, FTB FTB Beyond Mod Pack. Well, first off, you need to go to the second link down below, which will take you here, where you want to click the big red download button with the Windows icon. This is a Windows tutorial after all. Once you click that, it will download it right down here, as you can see. It's downloading, downloading downloading. I'll see you guys when it's done. Once this is done downloading, you might notice that it says Twitch instead of FTB. That's because FTB and Curse Forge is owned by Twitch, and you're actually downloading the Twitch app here. If we minimize our browser, here it is for me. For you, it might be in your downloads folder. To find that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in Downloads exactly like that and hit Enter. It will be here in your downloads folder. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once it's on your desktop, go ahead and double click on the Twitch setup button here and we're going to install the Twitch app. It's very, very easy to do. Just click the purple install button and it's done. That easy guys. Now it's going to open up the Twitch app for us. If yours doesn't open up after 10 to 15 seconds, you can go ahead and click on the Twitch button over here to open it up. Now here we are on the Twitch homepage, but you're like, Nick, I don't, I don't want to do Twitch. I want to, uh, you know, how do I put this? install mods. Well, it's pretty easy. Go over here to where it says mods right there, and then you'll find Minecraft, right? Click on Minecraft. Let's play Minecraft. Awesome. Looks like we're missing a few pieces to get started. Click install. Cool. We're going to do that. We're going to click install, and it's going to get everything up and running and going, and boom, there we go. Now we need to come over here to where we can browse FTB mod packs, and then you'll find the search box right here, and it just type beyond exactly like that. Then we want to click the purple install button right here, and it will now download and install everything it needs to do for Feed the Beast Beyond. This may take a while, guys. This mod pack has 175 mods in it. It should take a while to download 175 mods. I will see you guys once it's done. Once all the mods are done downloading, it will do as it just did and just go back to where it was at before, except now the install button is a play button. Click that play button and it will open up a Minecraft launcher. It's obviously gonna have to download it and install it for me here. Yours may do that, yours may not. Either way, doesn't really matter. It's uh, gonna get us to the same place. I'll see you guys once mine is done installing. So after the Minecraft launcher is done installing, it will open up and you may have to log into your Minecraft account. If that's the case, it's gonna be the same Minecraft account that you log into in the default normal Minecraft launcher because that is exactly what this is. This is just the default normal Minecraft launcher here. You click log in and you should be able to uh, click the little green arrow here next to the play button and you'll see FTB Beyond. Awesome. Click on that and then it should say FTB Beyond right there as well. Then click play and now it's going to launch Minecraft, not 1.12.2, Minecraft 1.10 with FTB Beyond installed in it. It's that simple, guys. I'll see you guys uh, once it's done uh, doing its thing down here, downloading, and then um, launching into the game. So once the downloading there is done, it will launch Minecraft, and as you can see, it's done it behind the Twitch app here, and it's now constructing and loading all of the mods involved in this mod pack. Again, it's 175 mods, guys. It's going to be slower launching. It's going to take a while to do stuff. And after you've launched it the first time, things should be a little bit quicker. But on the first launch, it will take a while. And uh, that's what it's doing right now. So once all of these bars are done, I'll meet you yet again. But this time on the Minecraft main menu. But wait, while it's doing this, be sure to like the video and subscribe. If you've made it to this point and it's taken a long time to launch in and stuff, guess what? You have Feed the Beast Beyond installed. So like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. It really does mean the world to me. And uh, be sure to check out uh, the breakdown.xyz slash MC server if you want an awesome 24-hour Minecraft server running Feed the Beast Beyond or any of the 
the other awesome mod packs or just vanilla uh, that you can run with uh, with the server. So yeah, check that out. First link down below. I'll see you on the main menu. So once you're on the Minecraft main menu, you will see this, which is about uh, basically a PSA about sites reposting mods. Nothing to worry about here, but it is an interesting uh, read and, and a website to go to. So we can go ahead and click continue. And as you can see, Feed the Beast Beyond is definitely installed. We can click on mods here see all of the just tons of mods that are in this mod pack and we can launch into single player and uh, see them as well so let me do that real quick for you guys but overall the mods installed have some fun if you do have any issues like it's not launching or not working after you know it gets to a certain point and stops and crashes or something like that I will show you what you need to do here, but first, let's load up this world, so I'll see you once it's done with that. So here we are in a Minecraft world with Feed the Beast installed. You can see there's berries everywhere, there's uh, just enough items installed, I mean everything is in here guys, so there is that. Now what if your game is crashing on startup? Well this is recommended to have at least 4 gigabytes of RAM. To play it but most likely Minecraft isn't going to have that so go back click play there and then once you're in the Minecraft launcher come over here to launch options then find FTB beyond right here come down to where it says XMX and then you see 3000 M right there change that to 4000 M and you can even do say 4500 M and what that's gonna do is dedicate 4500 megabytes or 4.5 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. You don't want to do this if you uh, have less than 8 gigabytes of RAM or 4 gigabytes of RAM, but you need at least 4 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to Minecraft to play this. Once you click save there, you should be able to go back to news and click play without any issues. But nonetheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, again, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown How-To, and I am out, guys. Peace.